Last yesterday we said the pride as a result of pride the next sin that is going to affect is lust if there is pride which is not controlled the next moment we will enter into the lust and this is exactly what is written in this bible passage and therefore let us beg for pardon and forgiveness and say lord i'm sorry for all this pride which i entertained because of this pride and prosperity excess of food and all these things i never cared for the poor and needy i was just criticizing everyone i'm sorry lord forgive me another type of pride that affects us the pride of independence a kind of attitude that i don't need anyone and they don't such people they don't discuss it any with anyone i have seen many people they don't even discuss anything that happens at home they don't discuss with their own life partner has certain husbands they don't discuss it with the wife wife doesn't discuss with the husband and when we ask i remember one day one husband and said came and said i don't discuss anything with my wife i said that's not a good good thing you have to discuss then she he said father there is no meaning in discussing with her she does she doesn't understand anything she her iq level is very low and she doesn't she is not intelligent therefore i there is no meaning in discussing with them as this man said then i told him my dear friend this is one type of pride even if she doesn't understand and even if her iq level is low the lord wants you to discuss with with, uh, with your life partner everything that happens in your life anything that is connected to your family because you both are no more two but one god will give the wisdom to advise you even if she is not intelligent as you as the world thinks but god can give the wisdom to the least of the brethren least of the humble ones of this world remember in the book of daniel we know when susanna was in problem all the elite group and all the intellectuals were uh, gave, giving a trial and accusing certain people but there was only one small boy called daniel he spoke the wisdom god spoke through him and then everyone opened their eyes therefore god can speak through anyone therefore be open to everyone and be humble enough to share with your friend share with your husband share with your wife you will receive the blessings therefore no one should be in isolated islands we we are community we are in a social uh, social human beings social beings therefore we should have that tendency we should have the desire to be humble in front of others and discuss with others wherever whatever that is supposed to be discussed so there are some people will say don't you know they they even dictate to others don't tell me what i do what i need to do i know even when they don't really know what they are supposed to do but they don't want to get the advice of anyone if someone gives a very valid ex- uh, advice they don't accept it just because they are advised they don't want to be advised by anyone there are some people they don't want any advice they they get disturbed about the advices because they want to go with their own, their own plans have you seen some children they don't like any advice from their parents and some parents are too much of advice and therefore children get dis- disturbed but even for the there are some people even for the valid advices good advices they don't want to listen to they get irritated because they have their own plans their own ideologies therefore remember this is very dangerous kind of pride the pride of independence such people they don't even listen to the word of god because they even evaluate the word of god as an object and they say these are all human beings written by human beings these are only human precepts i don't want to listen to it this is nonsense this doesn't uh, have any sense in it so that there are people who reject the word of god saying this has nothing inside none no stuff in it so there are people who reject it and this is a clear sign of pride of independence and therefore we need to cry out to god and say lord i'm sorry for all these in such pride there is a 
possibility that we may go for disobedience disobedience to our husband and wife and there will be family problems if there is pride of independence because there is no sharing there is no we are not disclosing everything to our life partner and at the end when everything is in a big mess and only then the life partner will come to know and by then she will be shocked or he will be shocked and this is this is a very big problem for many families therefore let us pray in a special way so that let this pride of independence be taken away from our heart and let us be humble so that we will be able to share with our family members and even get advices from our friends there are so many experts who are ready to help you who are ready to advise you in the right time with the right advice we should be ready to listen to the advices and listening to the advices is a clear sign of humility therefore let us take a strong decision today lord i accept i understand understand that i don't have every wisdom and that is why god you have appointed a life partner for me to give me and support me wisdom you have appointed our spiritual fathers confessors our helpers our parents and our friends so that we may get the proper wisdom and we all should be connected to all these people and you have created us in such a way therefore we accept it we read like this in the word of god james chapter 4 verse 13 onwards james chapter 4 verse 13 onwards come now you who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there doing business and making money some people say today and tomorrow we will go there and we will make business here we will make business there we will do some hard work there there are people who are planning their business and they decide their business without even knowing without even consulting with god without even praying about it they are so overconfident about their ability their talents they say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there and doing business and get take money we can easily go and get money from there we can easily get money from here and they have so overconfident verse 14 we read like this yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring what is your life for you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes you, you, you even forget that tomorrow there will be tragedy tomorrow there may be have some virus and lockdown tomorrow there will be a block and no vehicles can no planes can go nothing can work and all the shops will be closed and all the business may collapse tomorrow we may even fall sick tomorrow we may even die we don't know anything about tomorrow but still we have a big planning without god we have no dependency on god and we think we are independent we can decide on what what we want and we don't need anyone and we don't need god the lord says yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring what is your life for you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes we are only a mist just appears and vanishes mist in the morning and then within no time when the sun comes we just the mist disappears so verse 15 we read like this instead you ought to say instead of you know exalting yourself and say oh i will go there and do business within one year i will get money and i will pay off all these debts instead of saying like this you should say if the lord wishes we will live and do this or that if the lord wishes if god wants if god allows we will live and do this business if god wants if god gives me i will go there and i will do this business and i will do that if god wants if god helps you know that is sign of humility mm-hmm. every time remembering god every time tells lord if you want if you allow even we when we make a statement like this saying if you are love if you want i will be able to do this if god permits i will be able to do this business if god allows i will be able to go there and work that is a clear sign of humility 
We need this humility, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us cry for this humility. We also read Jerab. Uh, hello, Julia. Uh, good evening. Um, I just really blessed listening the preaching of that priest. So I recorded it, and while I'm listening, I remember about Margaret because you know Margaret. When I told her about if she could, uh, you know, uh, transfer to the bungalow instead of leaving, uh, have two houses. So I think, I think, hopefully, God will uh, touch the heart of Margaret. And it's really, really nice uh, message. I was listening. This is a very long message. It's about more than two hours. So I just get this uh, one of the special one, and it's really really good. Even me, also is corrected about what the priest said. Yeah, because sometimes, sometimes, yeah, uh, sometimes or most of the time, about decision making, uh, I just decide by my own, and I was thinking that I know God uh, knows, and I will. I am not asking. Sometimes Alan's permission. So uh, I also, uh, what they call this, reminding on this message in this preaching. So thanks be to God for the pre the the priests uh, priests and preachers who are really boldly proclaiming uh, God's wisdom to guide us. So, yeah, so that's why I just want to share this to you. And hopefully, I don't know if you can share this to Margaret as well. But anyway, it's, uh, I think Margaret is like very clo uh, close her, her mind to listen some advices. So, as what I said, when time come, when she reach into heaven, maybe God will tell her why you're not listening. Some people advising you. Because if you think about it. Uh, she's living on the house, no heater, no electricity, and hopefully, you know, hopefully the um, hospital uh, staff will check before um, they take Margaret back to her own house. So, yeah, so that's the, the only thing that, you know, I want to say. So, thank you very much, and thank you so much, um, Julia, for taking me there as well to visit her. And I know that God is a loving God, and I can say she is getting better. Yeah, is, and then she wants to come to church, which is really, really good, because that's, the, this, that's her desire to listen to the Word of God and receive a Holy Communion. Yeah, but yeah, she's fragile, so uh, the Holy Guardian Angel will guide her and help her. Oh, yeah, okay, God bless, God bless. Be um, yeah, because she's very, pri very private person. Some people are very private and you cannot advise. So, thanks be to God and God bless them. God bless us all. Amen. Okay.